Guys, what's going on? Uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller uh, has failed uh, another test. This is a guy that was given an opportunity of a lifetime against Anthony Joshua. He was going to make mega millions and he had an opportunity of becoming a unified world heavyweight champion. Uh, he blew that opportunity by failing tests, uh, failing for three different substances at the time. And there was a lot of cry at that time for to ban him for life because... You know, people had failed tests, but not to this level. You know, this was probably one of the worst cases where Miller went, failed for three different substances. Um, and a lot of people were happy and, they, and they, they're not happy and they said let's, they, he should be banned for life. Then he was given a second opportunity by Bob Arum and Top Rank, which a lot of people thought were fortunate. A lot of people weren't happy with. A lot of, and a lot of people, from what Bob Arum says, uh, Top Rank were not happy. They didn't want to see Miller back again. But they gave him that opportunity. They gave him a second chance. And what does he do? Blow it again. And what this tells me, what this tells me about Miller failing the test is that Miller was cheating all, all along from the start of his career. Because Miller, to me, cannot fight without them. He feels naked. Uh, there's some people that can't train without having some drugs in their system or having... Um, or, ha or having a pre-workout. Some people just can't train without it. They, their training session goes crap. Or they can't. Or they, or they just can't perform in their training session. Uh, or they feel naked. Some people just need. You know they get into a habit. And they can't do a certain thing without that particular uh, drug. Or whatever it is. Whatever it is. And Miller to me can't fight without PDs. He, he just can't. This is why I think he should be banned for life. Because. I don't think he'd be able to fight. I, I never rated him when I saw him. And I think when you look at Miller's career, there was red flags of the fact that this is a guy over 300 pounds and he's throwing, got a crazy punch output, throwing so many punches. He even broke the CompuBox record. Now we know why. Uh, and I don't, think, I don't think without them, he'd be any good. I don't think he'd be in the top 30. Um, and I don't think he would have beaten the top guys with whatever he was on anyway. But the fact is, if you're cheating and you've got drugs in your in your system, you're dangerous. You right? You're dangerous. And this is a guy that's con he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. He's going to find a way to beat it because he can't fight without them. You know, the fact that this is a guy that went uh, got so much criticism the first time, he would have learned by now. The problem is. He can't do it without him. So he's going to find another way. If you give him another opportunity, he'll just do the same thing again. Because he can't fight without them. It's as simple as that. You know, after all the criticism, after all the media, negative media he got, surely you wouldn't do that again. Because now you'd think now there's no way back for him. I'm sorry. But if he's allowed back in the sport of boxing, which, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say is corrupt, this would go... I don't think any promoter is going to give him a chance now, if I'm honest with you, because it's a joke. The guy's failed another test. No, nah, I'm sorry. He should be banned for life. Uh, and not. And people say made example of. No, he shouldn't be made an example. This is what should happen when you fail a drugs test in boxing. You know, this is the second time this man's failed. Or he's failed. I think he's even failed before. So how many chances are you going to give this guy? Before you say enough is enough. You know, because like I've just told you, I don't think this man's going to learn. I don't think he can fight without them. His whole, I think his whole style was based on him taking those, those drugs. So as far as I'm concerned, there should be a ban for life. Uh, because if you let this guy keep doing it, he's just going to keep, he's just going to keep putting stuff into his system. So as far as I'm concerned, Gerald Miller should be banned for life. Um, and anybody that's caught cheating especially once should be banned for life let, let alone several times you know this is a guy that needs to be needs to be taught a serious lesson or banned for 10 years or 12 years where you know he can't have much of a career you know banned for life means he'll never box again which obviously a lot of people now are clamoring for and to be honest i would endorse and say that i think that's what should happen um because at the end of the day he's too dangerous as far as i'm concerned it's too dangerous really uh, but leave your thoughts guys Let me know what you think in the comment section below Do you think Miller should be banned for life? Uh, I'm pretty sure all of you would agree But leave your thoughts guys Let me know what you think And guys remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video I want to thank you all For me reaching 7,000 subs I appreciate your support Guys as you can probably see from my channel art I have recently started Patreon 
and blogger uh, if you were to click on this uh, icon here it will take you to my patreon page and I just want to take you through my patreon page so I've, at the minute I've got two options hopefully I will increase this if my patreon grows but at the minute I've got uh, one option which is one dollar a month fan donation which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys and I've got another option of three dollars a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself you guys will get to speak to me face to face um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog so if you were to click on the this B sign here it will take you to my boxing blogs which is which is this page here and all you have to do is click on here and that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote so as you can see I've wrote six articles about different topics so if you want to click on one of my articles all you got to do is click on this and it will take you straight to the article and you can read it and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like but yeah guys I thought I'd just highlight this to you um, so make sure to read my articles uh, make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys I thank you for your, your support I thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs guys I'm out